Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different than I normally do. Um, we are going to be taking a trip to one of my all-time favorite stores um, and I figured I would just bring you guys along with me and we would do sort of a little vlog style video and yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready and we're about to head out. I am on a vacation here. We are staying at Oak Island and we are about to take a trip down to Callahan's of Calabash, which is a absolutely amazing home decor and holiday store that I absolutely love visiting every time again. And I cannot wait to show you what they have. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. So I figured I would do sort of a little get ready with me video. And we're gonna put on some makeup and pick out what jewelry I'm gonna be wearing. I know you can't even see me right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna pick out some eyeshadow and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do here. I only packed this palette because this is like one of my go-to everyday palettes and it's small and it's something that I can bring with me places, but it's the Disney Designer Collection Midnight Masquerade by ColourPop. And it's a really great palette because it has a lot of like these like neutral tones and then also some fun glitters if you wanna like make things fancy. But I really like these darker, more muted, natural colors. I'm just gonna dive into a little bit of this and I just put it sort of right above my crease. Like, I have very hooded eyes, so it's really hard for me to put eyeshadow on in a way that shows really vividly. Next, I'm gonna dive into this nutmeg color that's more of like a orange, and we're just gonna blend that out a little bit and like warm it up. Now I'm gonna dive into this light kind of metallic shimmer right here, and I'm just gonna put that right on my brow bone just to kind of highlight it right there because sometimes it looks a little bit messy and this just gives me like a nice little pop of color and then lastly I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to apply this floating lanterns glitter to my lid now this is one of my favorite glitters to use because it is so oh my god it's so beautiful just wait I'll show you this is the final makeup look um it's what I typically do, it's just like really light and something kind of, well, I say really light, but it's pretty dramatic, but I just really like the glitter. I just think that it's like a nice sparkle. I feel like it makes my eyes super bright and I don't know, I just, it's something I like doing. So now we're gonna move on and pick out some jewelry. I'm gonna be wearing is this oil diffuser necklace. This sort of has like a moon and a star on it. And I love diffusing this oil that I found on Etsy from Theme Park Scents. It is Haunted Mansion scented. And it, I wouldn't say that it really smells exactly like the Haunted Mansion, but it is a really nice gothic, like very old sort of library kind of smell. So I'm also gonna be wearing my skeleton hand earrings. I can't remember exactly where these are from or who they're by. I kind of want to say that they're Betsy Johnson, but I'm not entirely sure. And for my outfit, I'm just going to be wearing some black shorts and my brand new Halloween University t-shirt. Um, I think we bought this at Kohl's, I believe, or it may have been JCPenney, but I'm pretty sure it was Kohl's. I absolutely love this t-shirt. I've been wearing it so much. It's so comfortable. And I just love the bold orange, like it's so Halloween-y and I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go get dressed and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the t-shirt. I absolutely love this shirt, like I just said. And I'm really excited. I think we're gonna find some really good stuff today. I cannot wait. All right, so now I'm gonna throw on some jewelry and I'll come back with the final look. And ta-da, here's the final look. Quartz ring, I've got my big chunky mood ring. This is actually my favorite ring I own. Um, I, I bought this at Earthbound Trading. It's just a mood ring, but I love how big and just beautiful it is. We're gonna be wearing our black Crocs today, I believe, or maybe our green ones. I'm not sure. We are gonna roll out and I will see you guys when we get there.
Oh my gosh. Beautiful. I am so excited about these. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I love them. <gasps> We're gonna need a basket. It's like cold winter day. <gasps> are these Mark Roberts? Yeah. They are. Look at that. Some say they're creepy, but I like them. They're so beautiful. I could look at them like for hours. Shiny bright. I love it. Oh my gosh. Look, these are the Mark Roberts Santas, I think. They look like his stuff. Oh no, that's Mark Roberts. I am obsessed. Oh, you can't even see the whole thing. That's so cute. All the carolers. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Look. I absolutely love them. <gasps> Look at her. Mermaids. Look at him. Oh my god. He's ginormous. Look at these. These are precious. Oh my god, you're the worker. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Those reindeer salt peppers. I love it. Look at the Santa dish. Look at these little trees here. Oh my gosh. And these are the little spreaders. Oh my gosh. I am. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh my god. Look at the big one. I love them. <gasps> this one's got a witch hat. I don't know. 52, 400, 135. Oh my god. He's got a pumpkin body. I know. Oh my god. It's the owl. I know. Oh my god, it's so expensive. How much is it? $45. Oh, that's really cute. Look at these. Look at those. They're so cute. Oh my god, the cat mole. Look, and this what? Oh my, there's a tea. Oh! It's the pumpkin teapot. Shit. So much. Can you hold it? Oh my god. $8. Try to get, yeah. I feel like I need this little guy. This is hers? I can't tell. Oh, there's a page. <laughs> Look at these. Look how beautiful. I love this tree. Wow. Here's a, here's a ghost. Look at that. So cute. Here's a pumpkin. My goodness, these are awesome. Oh, those are really neat. Look at him up here. I hey, love look them. at those down, the little bitty ones down there. this one. Oh. Hey everyone, so today I am finally home from my beach trip. I had an absolutely amazing time 
Callahan's was beautiful, as always. I absolutely love going to Callahan's. We found all kinds of amazing goodies, and as you probably saw, uh, we found a lot of Joanna Parker merchandise. I did see on Facebook a few months ago, back before we were about to go on our trip, that somebody posted that they had started carrying Joanna Parker, which got me even more excited for Callahan's. So I was absolutely not disappointed. Um, I did also do a lot of other decor hunting at different shops and things while I was uh, down there, but I'm going to save those items for the regular decor haul video that I have coming up, and today we're just going to focus on the things that I got from Callahan's. It's a pretty big haul. It is a collection of both me and my mother. Uh, we both bought uh, quite a few things. So the first thing I want to talk about is this little guy here. Um, now this is by the artist Jim Shore, which I'm sure many of you have probably seen his work before, but it is this little owl with a witch on a broom in front of the moon, tiny little owl sculpture figurine, super super cute. I've always loved Jim Shore's pieces. But I have just never really um, bought any for myself, um, mostly because I, I never really find his Halloween stuff anywhere except for online, so I was really excited to be able to get one of these. Um, he had a couple other Halloween items out as well, but I decided to go with this little owl. Alright, the next thing I got, um, I don't know if many of you know about this, but hopefully some of you do. Um, I am a big fan of Mark Roberts dolls. Um, he is a designer who creates like art dolls and figurines that are like fairies and witches and elves for Christmas. But the, you know, the dolls at Home Goods that are like the elves with like the pumpkin bodies and like the hats and the pointy ears and stuff. Those, I believe, are knockoffs of Mark Roberts because they look very similar but his are just on a whole nother level of detail. They are just fabulous, sparkly, embellished dolls and I love them so much. We only have one for Christmas and we have not gotten one for Halloween but I was lucky enough to have been able to get one um, for Halloween at Callahan's and I am so excited about it. Um, they are, I, I will just say now, they are extremely expensive and that is why we have only bought two. And I was so lucky enough that my grandparents were with us and they were kind enough to purchase one for me. Um, I have always wanted a Halloween one and they had a pretty good selection of some Halloween ones. So, here is the Trick or Treat Fairy, which is the doll that I came home with. Um, he is just absolutely fabulous. I love everything about it. I love his witch hat and his pants. He's got fairy wings and this amazing black and white sparkly cloak or cape. Just, I mean, they're they're amazing, and I love that they have, you, I don't know if you can see, their beards are sparkly. They are just absolutely beautiful, and they have a little loop on their back where you can hang them from the ceiling like they're flying, and just love everything about it. And I think it's going to look really good with some of my floral displays in my room this year. I am just absolutely in love. Here is a close-up on his face and his outfit, and just his little shoes. And they are completely posable. They have wire in their little bodies where you can pose them. And this is one of the more, I guess, medium-sized elves. They come in a smaller size, which I would say is like about this tall compared to this guy. And then they also have some that are like this big and then for Christmas they also had a huge one that was like probably the size of a small child and he was hanging from the ceiling flying they're just they're amazing I absolutely love them I highly recommend looking up his witch collection he does amazing witches and also skeleton people okay so those are the only other two things that we got that are not Joanna Parker um 
So now we're going to move on to just the Joanna Parker stuff. Start small and work our way up big. Um, so the first little guy I got here is this adorable little pumpkin spider. Um, he is so cute. He's black and white, which I really like because it's a good contrast to my normal decor. Um, he is just beautiful. I love him. I love him so much. Amazing little details as always. I just absolutely love her style. She is my all-time favorite artist. Um, I absolutely love Joanna Parker and everything she makes is just fabulous. Next thing I got is this little owl figurine that they also had and he's like kind of the same size as the spider one but um, he is just like a little owl with a pumpkin body. Super super cute. Got little wings. So he's going to look really great on my vintage shelf display this year. I cannot wait. Then the last things that we got here are all uh, ceramic. These are part of her trans pack collection. The little pumpkin teacups. They are just absolutely beautiful. I love them. I love their little faces. They had all four um, individually, um, but we liked these two faces and we decided to just get two of them and not all four. But I love them. They're like the perfect size little teacup, you know? I just, they're awesome. I love them so much. And their little faces are so happy and so vintage. And they're really great quality. I just, I love them. And obviously, we could not have the teacups without the teapot. This is her iconic pumpkin teapot. I absolutely love it. The colors, the face, the style, just everything about it. Like, are you joking? It's, I mean, it's just amazing. I love it so much. It is so me and I just, we're going to display this on our dining table this year, I believe. It is just beautiful. Here is a close-up on it. Sorry the colors kind of washed out, but it is beautiful and I love the green and the orange with the little black collar and the little top that comes off. And lastly, um, this is the final thing that I bought. This is the Joanna Parker owl candy bowl are you joking it is so cute i love the colors this design really just reminds me of the vintage like beastal paper decorations As the colors just orange black and yellow absolutely love it and it does have actually quite a bit of room on the top so you could actually put like quite a bit of candy in here or something it's very tall too so it is great and i have found that her mugs sit perfectly in the top of it so you can kind of like stack a little tower of things up and it's like just i don't know it's super weird and cute and i just i absolutely love it they had all of her candy bowl people but i decided to only get one because <laughs> We're working with limited space. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you are in the area, I highly recommend checking out Callahan's. It is a beautiful place to go, and I just cannot recommend it enough. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I am so glad to have you. I hope that you enjoy your time here. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out when I post a new video. And leave a comment down below. Let me know, are you a Joanna Parker collector? Um, have you found any of her goodies this year? Anyway, I've got some decorating to do, so I will talk to you all again very soon. Happy haunting!